Namaste. My name is Will Zimmer. I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak how I got paralyzed. So six years ago, when I was 56 years old, my whole body was paralyzed. Okay. I was lying in the hospital, my whole body was paralyzed. And so the doctor checked my whole body and nobody knew how it were coming, what was the cause of it, and so on. In the morning, I was going to the toilet and my eyes were swollen from the removal of the antifolding of my catamaran. And I was quite shocked about it. And then I got a fever attack. I went to the bed, and after some time, I decided it's better to go to the hospital. <laughs> so I called up a friend and asked her, can you pick me up? She said, okay. So within 10 minutes, nevertheless, she was there with Oscar, and I made it hardly to her car. And then uh, I said, just go to a hospital, to a good one. As she said, we have a new hospital, okay. And she drove me, and then I caught, got a stroke, something like a stroke, as I would touch 500 volts. And I could not see anymore. And, and she saw what happens to me. And she got in panic mode. So she tried to, uh, or not, she, she was racing the car with screeching uh, and tires. And I got my second stroke. And my body started to become paralyzed. And then the third stroke finished. The body was paralyzed. So I went to the hospital. And the staff in the hospital treated me like, uh, like wood very, very badly. They, they gave me a blouse. I didn't care because I could not. Uh, um, and defense myself, as I treated like so awful. And this happens also, I think, to all people. They don't care. This guy cannot defend, cannot speak anymore. Okay, we don't care. No? This was the right attitude, or incorrect attitude. And I got furious, but I could not make anything. <laughs> So then, and they didn't know if I had enough money to, to, to go to this emergency car to um, Phuket and so on. They couldn't make anything anymore, so I had to go to Phuket, but I wanted to go home. I had enough of that. Then I was laying on a very hard bed and so on, emergency bed out of plastic. It was awful. And then I, um, in the whole time, I repeated the name of God and said, I thought, uh, uh, thank you, God, for my life. Tell that I was alive and so on. And I had faith totally in God. In this condition where I was, it was better to be dead than to be totally uh, paralyzed for the rest of your life. So, and then I remembered the movie, The Secret. There is a guy who had an airplane accident. His body was totally paralyzed. And nobody could help him, so, so but still he had this vision to go out of the hospital seven months, a month later on his own legs on Christmas. 
And the whole idea was, yeah, stupidness. No? And I thought what he can do, I can do also. As a high spirit being, yes, I can do it and much better than him. And then I was visualizing to go out of the hospital without to go to pocket in an emergency car. And seven hours later, I did so. I went up, the staff was shocked, and I went out by myself to the car. Still, we had to go to Phuket for examination. What had happened is that through the strokes, if I cannot get a stroke, <laughs> um, I had a heart rhythmic attack. And I didn't know that I, a little bit, that my heart rhythmic was not OK. And so this the heart stopped. And heart rhythmic, um, people dying more from a heart rhythmic attack than from heart attacks. Yes, the heart stops and then no ox oxygen and then you die. The same happened to me. The brain was no, ox uh, no oxygen. And uh, so the paralyzing uh, um, happened to me. Then, so we went to the hospital and then I checked everything and again, uh, so they said it was a heart rhythmic attack that had caused it, but I'm totally fit. Also to this time, it's hard to beat me in swimming or in the mountains for a normal guy until today. And I'm a raw cost uh, um, food eater for 30 years. And I'm making my Qigong every day, my meditation every day. So what has caused the whole thing? I was in a very difficult time, in a helpless situation. And I had this stress, and I could not make anything. At the same time, the anti-falling and so on. And this had caused this heart rhythmic attack. So my heart stopped beating. When I came out of the hospital from Phuket, it was all this test, it was a nightmare. No. Then an old friend called me, normal case, he never called me. This guy, I made all the time jokes about his life, so he had broken nearly every um, bone. So he was uh, a slaughter before, then he was working as a super agent, making sabotage for the army and killing and all these things. And now he's working as a civil uh, um, uh, servant. And he was working also as a stuntman. So he had a very hard life. <laughs> and I was joking about him, but then I realized when I phoned him, I said, I'm here in a bad situation, and he tried to make it easier for me, made some jokes, and he said, again, <laughs> and he was right. I was three times clinical dead already, and in the last 12 years, I faced four times a day. So what I want to say, <laughs> you can be in the worst situation, but if you give up your hope, if you give up your faith, then you have lost totally. And I prove again and again that God is rescuing me again and again out of the Worst situation. And I can help other people because of the bad situation where I'm right now. Now the previous uh, a girlfriend of me has cancer in the third state and, uh, and for sure she will get, she will get, help, get healed. 
so also then I try my best that she gets the uh, healing and so on. Thank you that I could speak to you and bye.